Roll for Crit presents how to play Hidden Leaders Forgotten Legends in seven minutes or less or more. Hidden Leaders is a deduction game about warring factions and a fight for the throne. This video will assume you know the base rules of the game, but if you do not, we have a how to play video on that in the description down below. Hidden Leaders Forgotten Legends is the first expansion, adding three modules that you can mix and match to use. Regardless of whether you use just one module or mix and match, Always make sure to follow the game setup for the base game, then following any changes that are added for whichever modules you use. The first module is the Guardians module. This adds a new Guardian faction to the game, which will also be vying for power against the four base ones. For setting up a game using the Guardians module, before you start the game, you're going to secretly choose two of the Guardian leaders without looking and shuffle them into the six leaders included in the base game. Then deal one card to each player face down as you would before without looking at any of the remaining leader cards. Then you will place the Guardian marker on the one space to the far left of the board. You will then shuffle the Guardian Heroes, as well as the Mother of Guardians, into the main hero deck. Finally, place the Guardian Fate cards face down somewhere near the board. After that, follow all other rules of setup for the base game. The Guardian faction has its own unique rules that you will need to keep an eye out for. First, the Guardian Heroes will have two faction symbols on their card. One will be for the Guardian faction. The other will pertain to one of the four previous factions from the base game. Guardian hero cards are played just like any other hero card, except when they're played from your hand and you perform their ability, you will also move the Guardian marker two spaces to the right on the power track. The Guardian marker only moves if the card comes into play and you perform the ability. Conversely, whenever a Guardian hero is buried and put into the graveyard, the player who performed the ability that caused the Guardian to be put into the graveyard will now draw from the Guardian Fate deck. You will draw two cards from this deck, secretly choosing one to reveal and perform the action printed on the card. Afterwards, you will shuffle all the Guardian Fate cards back together into a single deck. At the end of the game, the Guardian faction declares victory if the Guardian marker is above both the red and green marker. The Guardian victory condition is considered first above all other victory conditions, so even if a different faction has its victory conditions met, the Guardian victory trumps that faction. However, if no one leader supports the Guardian faction, then you will ignore the Guardian victory and evaluate the game as you would in the base game. If two people support the Guardian faction, then whoever has the most Guardian heroes is declared the winner. The next module is Corruption. This adds corruption tokens that will slowly be added to heroes and could have some major side effects. Each corruption token has a backside showing the corruption symbol and a front side which will have a variety of different symbols. For setup, simply place the corruption tokens into the bag as well as placing the claim corruption card near the left side of the board, making sure that the side with the correct player count is showing. Finally, draw two corruption tokens without revealing them, placing them on the corruption spiral icons on the claim corruption card. The claim corruption card starts with two tokens, each of them with a condition next to it, usually involved revealed heroes in your party. During your turn, if you meet any of these conditions, you may claim that corruption. You'll first take the corruption token next to that condition and add it to one of your non-corrupted heroes. Then every player, including the one who claimed corruption, will draw a corruption from the bag, adding it to a non-corrupted hero. Keep in mind that you may only claim one of these corruption tokens on your turn, even if you meet multiple conditions. Throughout the game, you will be adding corruption tokens onto hero cards, whether they are face up or face down. Corruption tokens are always added face down, showing the backside with the two symbols. Once a hero has one corruption token, they may not gain another corruption token unless they lose their original corruption token. Corruption tokens are kept face down in secret even if a hero itself is flipped face up. At any time, you may look at corruption tokens on your own heroes, but you may never look at ones on your opponent's cards, even if you are allowed to look at their face down heroes. The most common symbols you will see will have one of the four base factions. At the end of the game, you will flip over any corruption tokens on hero cards. Whatever faction symbol is showing, that hero is now considered to be a part of that faction. Keep in mind that this faction change will only trigger at the end of the game. During gameplay, you will treat the card of having its printed faction, even if the token on it would say otherwise. If you plan to mix this module with the Guardians module, keep in mind that if a Guardian hero would become corrupted, it will only change its base four faction, not the Guardian faction. So for instance, if a Hill Tribe Guardian hero gets corrupted with an undead symbol, it becomes an undead Guardian hero, not just an undead hero. Outside of the core four factions, there are two other symbols you will see. 
The first one is a times two. This will make the hero it is on count as two of its faction type during end game scoring. The other symbol is protection. This looks like a shield with a guardian symbol in it. During the game, should a hero be buried, you may choose to reveal this token, returning it to the box, and then burying the hero it was on instead of the original hero who was going to be buried. Keep in mind that this can be used to protect any hero, not just heroes under your control. If this token remains on the card till end game scoring, that card now adds the Guardian faction amongst its factions. This however will not do much unless the Guardian module is being used. If the card it is on already has the Guardian faction printed, it does not double the Guardian faction or change the card in any other way. Other than that, gameplay will be the same, keeping in mind that Corrupted Heroes will most likely change factions at the end of the game. The final module are artifacts. This adds six new artifact cards as well as some artifact tokens. The setup for this one is pretty simple. Once you have completed the base setup, each player will either choose an artifact or randomly deal an artifact to each player. Each player will take the artifact card they receive and place it face up next to their face down leader. You will then look at the number of artifact symbols, the goblet symbol, on the far left of your artifact card and gain that many artifact tokens. You will place those over those symbols as they indicate the number of uses you can use for that artifact. Each artifact has a unique power that can be triggered in one of two phases. If it has a lightning bolt symbol, that means it can be used anytime during the first step of playing a card. This can be before or after they play the card. If it has an hourglass symbol, this card can be played after the fourth step of their turn when they fill up the tavern. Anytime you use an artifact card, you will remove one of the artifact tokens on it and place it back in the box. If there are no more tokens on the card, you cannot trigger its ability. Those are all the new rules included in the Forgotten Legends expansion, keeping in mind you can play with just one rule set or mix them all together. In conclusion, watch out for those ancient guardians, beware corruption and changing allegiances, and watch out for those crafty tools your opponents have. That's Hidden Leaders Forgotten Legends in a nutshell. Did you get all that?